Hi, thanks for watching. My name is Will McAdam. I'm the founder of PrivacyDuck.com. We specialize in removing people's personal information off the internet, about 100 sites or so. But today we're showing you for free how to manually remove your own information from WhitePages.com. If you're following along on WhitePages.com today, feel free to pause this video at any time to uh, go ahead and catch up to where you need to be at. And uh, also note, in order to opt out of whitepages.com, you will need an email address handy as well as a cell phone. We do recommend using a throwaway email address, if you will, one that you won't use uh, for any other purposes besides your privacy removals. We do recommend AOL or Hotmail for these purposes. So let's go ahead and get started today. Go ahead and take your browser and go directly to whitepages.com. And this will be what the home page looks like right here. Go ahead and enter your first and last name, followed by your city and your state. As in this example, we have John Anderson in Garden Grove, California. And go ahead and click that green search icon right there. That will take you to a list of search results. So it looks something like this. Go ahead and scroll down and find your listing. Find which one matches you the best. And you can tell it's broken down here by how old you are, uh, any previous cities, and items such as that. So once you've found your name, go ahead and click on the bold name right there. And that will take you to a page that prompts you to make a whitepages.com account. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we recommend using a disposable throwaway email address. Um, do not log in with Facebook. Uh, they give you that option. That just encourages the information sharing, so avoid that. So go ahead and enter your first and last name. That does have to be the same first and last name that matches on your listing. You'll see that later. Go ahead and enter that email address there, and just choose a password that you want to create, that you want to use to access white pages. Go ahead and click the orange Create Account button. And that will take you to a page asking you to verify your email. Go ahead and go to your email account now. Open that in a new tab. We have used AOL in our example right here. So you'll see what the white pages uh, verification email looks like. Go ahead and open that email. And in that email, you'll see the green verify your email button or some blue text. Go ahead and click either one of those. That will take you back to your profile page on white pages. Here you'll see, this is what it takes you back to, this little pop-up box right here. And here you can say, yes, this is me, that green button. Go ahead and click that. That'll take you to another pop-up button that indicates that you can only claim one profile per email per account. Um, go ahead and click, again, um, verify this, but also it will require you to verify it by a phone number, as we'll see in the next page. Go ahead and enter your cell phone number here. There will be an option to delete it later. But for now, go ahead and click on Add a Phone Number. Go ahead and enter your phone number in right here. We use one of our uh, disposable throwaway uh, Google Voice numbers that we made. Um, and you can either um, indicate for call or for text. Even for the call option, though, it still has to be a cell phone, not a landline. Um, go ahead and click send me notification right here. That will take you to the next page. Now in this, uh, they're pretty quick usually, so within a few seconds you should get a phone call or a text message with a four-digit verification code from whitepages.com. So go ahead and enter that code right here and click on the green verify button. It says you've successfully created your account. Congratulations. So go ahead and click the green Go to Accounts button right now. And this will take you to the back end or the back technical side of what your profile page is on whitepages.com. Here you'll see the cell phone number you just entered. And you'll also see the other phone number and addresses associated with this John Anderson, the person in our test example. We found his address on Lampson and his, both his phone numbers. So what we're going to do here is going to be a little bit time consuming. And if you have a lot of addresses listed in phone numbers, it might take a few minutes. But uh, go ahead and click Edit. 
Next, just work from the top down here. Go ahead and click Edit on the first phone number, and that will take you to this little pop-up, and it says you can remove this number. There's a faint green little link here that says remove this number. Go ahead and click on that. It will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this phone number from our records? Well, that's the whole point of what we're doing. So go ahead and click remove the green button again. And you'll see that that top phone number is now gone. Repeat that same step for every phone number and for every address that you have on your listing. Um, go to do that one by one, however long that takes there. Once you delete all of those right here, um, you've removed them for now from the whitepages.com system. Now go ahead and click on this little bottom link here at the very uh, bottom of the green link that says remove me from the directory. Go ahead and click on that and again it will ask you if you're sure and go ahead and click the green remove my info button and you'll see this little tiny green band at the top that says uh, that confirms that you have been removed go ahead and click the view your profile link just below that and it should take you to a note that says sorry we can't find that page anywhere um, go ahead and log out at the top right hand side of that page right there um, if you do have more than one listing on whitepages.com, if you search yourself again, still find the listing, you will have to repeat this process, but you cannot use the same email. So go ahead and create another throwaway email account and repeat these steps with each different listing. You can use the same phone number, however, it's not the same email account. One of the good things that we love about whitepages.com, it's one of the big sites that owns a few smaller sites. So removing from whitepages.com also removes you from 411.com, anywho.com, dexnose.com, yellowpages.com, and whoware.com. So over at privacyduck.com, we do go ahead and remove you from white pages and about a hundred other sites. We offer subscription, monthly monitoring, subscription cost. Uh, services at a low cost that do this. Uh, our team of experts go in, we take you off, they're using the same procedures you've just seen. But then we also keep an eye out for your information, you know, the next month and a few months after as well, because your information can and usually does repopulate. So it's kind of a whack-a-mole game with your information. And so we just stay on top of that for you and also take you off of any new data sites that pop up uh, during your time with us. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click on the link at the video um, in the description. Uh, that's privacyduck.com and just click the green, sorry, the blue, delete your data button right there. And it takes you to our removal and monitoring options as well as our one-time deletion. So once again, my name is Will McAdam. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you over at Privacy Duck. Have a great day.